Welcome back to another Madden NFL 25 video in which today we have an AFC matchup between Russell Wilson's current team and his former team. It'll be the battle between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Denver Broncos. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe because it helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So without further ado, let's get straight into this one and see which team will come out on top. Let's get it. Russell Wilson and the Steelers will get the ball to start off the game. So let's take a look at his stats from last year as he had 297 out of 447 attempts, 3070 yards, 26 touchdowns, 2 8 interceptions. Here on 1st and 10, Russell Wilson has a play action pass and will take a shot to the left hand side of the field as the pass is completed to number 14 who will take it to right about midfield at the 49 yard line. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after, Russell Wilson will fire it out to the left hand side once again and complete it to number 10 who will take it into Broncos territory at the 39 yard line. Here on 2nd and 3, Russell Wilson fires one out down the middle of the field and it is completed to his receiver number 11 who gets it all the way up to the 20 yard line and that is Jefferson with the reception. Here on 1st and 10 on the play right after, Russell Wilson hands it off to the running back who breaks the tackle and muscles his way through into the end zone and that is number 22 Najee Harris with that touchdown carry and what a great run by him as he celebrates a dance with his teammate for the touchdown and he does a great job to break through the defenders tackle and turn on the burners to get into the end zone and the Steelers score the first points of the game taking a 7-0 lead over Denver with 2.35 left here in the first quarter. It is now time for the rookie who was just announced to be the starter, the former Oregon Duck and Auburn Tiger quarterback Bo Nix to take the field. So let's take a look at his stats as he's 71 overall, has 84 speed and 72 awareness. Here on first and 10, Bo Nix hands the ball off to the running back who finds some space on the left hand side and takes it up to the 36 yard line and that is Williams with the 13 yard rush right there great run by number 33 on the play here on first and 10 Bo Nix steps back in the pocket and completes the pass to his wide receiver number 13 on the play as he gets past the first line to gain and it is at the 47 yard line here on first and 10 Bo Nix hands the ball off to the running back as he breaks through tackles and makes it into Pittsburgh territory at the 42 yard line. Great run by Williams on that play. Here on first and 10, Bo Nix snaps the ball, has time in the pocket, quickly works the middle of the field as the pass is completed for a first down. And at the end of the first quarter, the Pittsburgh Steelers lead 7 to 0 over the Broncos as they are driving in the red zone at the 15 yard line here on the first play of the second quarter on first and 10 Bo Nix tries to scramble out of the pocket and gets sacked by TJ Watt and this will move the Broncos offense all the way back for a second and 22 and look at how Bo Nix didn't navigate and see TJ Watt as he was trying to escape the pocket it is now 4th and 9 for the Broncos and the kick is up and good. As they get their first points of the game, Pittsburgh leads 7-3 with 2.50 to go here in the first half. Here on 2nd and 11, Russell Wilson is in the pocket and fires one out to the left hand side and the pass is completed to number 14 on the play as they enter Broncos territory at the 41 yard line. Let's take a look at the replay right here to see how George Pickens came up with that play. Russell Wilson does a great job to fire it in front of his receiver where only his man could make that catch. Here on 2nd and 10, Russell Wilson dunks it off 
to the running back on a halfback screen as he has great blocks up fronts and gets the first down all the way up to the 28 yard line great catch and run by Najee Harris on that play here on first and 10 Russell Wilson has time in the pocket and will air one out in the back of the end zone and the pass is completed to Wilson it will be a Wilson to Wilson connection as Roman Wilson catches his first NFL touchdown of the year the former standout Michigan national championship receiver right there and Pittsburgh are going to take a 14 to 3 lead over the Broncos with 42 seconds left here in the second quarter Broncos will get the ball to start off the second half and they start at the 39 yard line and here on first and 10 Bo Nix gets the ball out to his tight end number 82 who takes it into Steelers territory down at the 43 yard line and let's take a look at the replay right here to see how the play unfolded as the tight end is able to get the outside leverage on two defenders until they are able to run up and catch up to him. Here on first and 10, Bo Nix hands the ball off to the running back who finds some space on the right hand side of the field and gets inside the 10 yard line at the 8 and it'll set up a Broncos first and goal as that was Williams once again with another great carry. Here on first and goal on the play right after, Bo Nix tries to scramble out of the pocket on the left hand side and he is going to keep the ball himself and find the left edge as he scores the rushing touchdown himself and that is the first rushing touchdown for him in his NFL career as he gritties his way into the end zone to celebrate. Tom Payton decides to go for the two-point conversion here to try and make it a three-point game. Bo Nix tries to scramble out of the pocket but is sacked and the two-point conversion fails for the Broncos. The score is 14-9 here in the third quarter with 2.10 left. Here on second and 10, Russell Wilson has time in the pocket and will hit the receiver on the right side of the field as he takes it all the way up to the 27 yard line and that is George Pickens with the reception. Here on first and 10, Wilson hands the ball off to Najee Harris who finds lots of space on the right hand side of the field as he takes it all the way up to the six yard line setting up the Steelers with a first and goal here on fourth and goal the kick is up and it's good and the Pittsburgh Steelers increase their lead to eight as the score is now 17 to 9 here in the third quarter the Broncos go three and out and here on first and ten they hand the ball off to Najee Harris who gets a great block from the tight end opening up space on the left hand side of the field and it'll be a first and 10 for the Steelers at the 28 yard line. The Steelers offense gets stopped and Bo Nix gets the ball back in here on first and 10. He is smothered by a whole bunch of Steelers and the Steelers are able to pick it up and it'll be the Steelers offense at the three yard line for a first and goal and Cameron Hayward comes up with the ball and celebrates with his teammate in the end zone and what an inopportune time for Bo Nix to make that fumble right there here on second and goal they're gonna hand it off to Najee Harris and he is gonna make his way into the end zone to put this game out of reach the score is now 24 to 9 in favor of the Steelers it is now fourth and two for the Broncos and Bo Nix has time in the pocket works the middle of the field and completes it to his receiver who gets into Steelers territory at the 45 yard line and they are going to use their second timeout of the half and here on first and ten Bo Nix has time in the pocket and he steps up to get out of it and try and throw one into the end zone and the receiver was in but he comes back to get to the ball and is stopped at the one yard line. And the clock is still ticking and let's see if the Broncos can get to the line of scrimmage quickly. But it looks like the time will just about run out. And the Steelers are going to defeat the Broncos 
24 to 9. Let me know in the comments below who do you guys think will win this game in real life and what do you guys think the score will be. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate all the support as we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you're a fan of the NFL and college football, stay tuned as we'll be covering both all season long. Appreciate all the support and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.